Studio 33 AD Catholic Media I know that many of you don't know me yet so allow me to introduce myself not because I am more important than Jesus' message but just for you to know who is the short priest talking to you my name is Father Herman Osorio. I like to go by Father Polo or Father Osorio. I was born in Colombia 44 years ago. I came to the States, especially to the Diocese of Boise, uh, back in 2002. Went back home and then back home in 2007. I went to BSU to study English as a second language. I used to live at the uh, Trinan House with other seminarians from other countries, doing the same process, going to BSU and getting ready to be sent to the Mount Angel to study theology and to do the MD uh, program over there. Um, I got ordained to the diaconate on May 29th, 2009, into the priesthood by Bishop Michael Driscoll on June 10, 2010. Okay. I then assigned to different uh, parishes with these 12 years of priesthood, Twin Falls, Nambla, Soda Springs, and with all the missions that accompany this parish. Mala, Peter, Preston, and uh, I'm missing one, Lava Las Vegas. And then from Soda Springs, Bishop Peter moved me to uh, Mountain Home. I was the pastor over there for five years. And then in Mountain Home, I joined uh, the National Guard, the Air Force National Guard, and I am the Catholic chaplain for the Air Force and the Army. Um, and so that's the reason why we should hear out of his generous heart wanted me to be closer to down the field. So I could do my, my military uh, ministry uh, being closer uh, to down the field. I have uh, two brothers and one sister, father, still live is in Colombia, and so is the rest of my family. And my uh, biological mom passed away in 1995. I did have a special woman. I think some of you know her. She used to belong to this parish. So being a St. John's Cathedral means a lot to me. First, because it's the cathedral. Secondly, because I got ordained the cathedral. And third, because my adopted mom uh, used to be a parishioner of St. John's. And I'm talking about Glory now. Yeah. She was everything to me during my seminary life and after being with it as well. So enough about me. You know, now you know who this short priest is and where his accent is coming from. So now we go back to business, which is the Word of God. I really love, my dear friends, the um, antiphon for today's responsorial, which to me has to do a lot to the first reading and the gospel. We said, or several times, turn to the Lord in your need, and you shall live. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you shall live. And the gospel who sends us today this guy who was a victim of evil people, and this guy was about to die. And I cannot even imagine how much this guy prayed for someone to come and help him. The gospel doesn't say that, but I just imagine. Because that's something that um, 
human to do. When we are in trouble or we are in danger, we say, Lord God, please help me send someone on the way to help me. So I think that's what happened to this guy that is uh, uh, in today's gospel. I think he prayed a lot for someone to come and help. And so there was a priest. Thank God was not a priest from the, from the New Covenant. This was a priest from you know, different priesthoods. Uh, and he passed away, they didn't care, and then another person came, and then finally a Samaritan uh, person came and brought help to this guy who was in so much need. So again, I cannot even imagine how much prayers this guy said to God to uh, be helped. How many times, my friends, we have moments in our daily lives when we need someone to come and help us. Whether it is physical needs or spiritual needs or emotional needs. And, and, and the, the responsorial is telling us today, turn to the Lord in your need. And I am sure that all of us here all of us have a lot going on in our lives. I don't even dare ask anyone because the list will be endless. Because that's life. Thank God we have the gift of faith to come to Him, to turn to Him in our need. Not because He is a magician who will change everything that is going on in our lives. But we, because we know that He is God. And what He has to offer for us is of most, most, val most val valuable than the needs that we have in our lives. To whom should we, should we go, my friends? That's another, another passage from the Bible. To whom shall we go? And the answer is right here in front of us in the Western soil. Turn to the Lord in your need and you shall be. Don't you think that's what the world needs right here and now? The entire world needs to turn to the Lord. Think about worship. Thank God we have the, the good decision about abortion. We need to keep praying, my friends. We need to keep praying for the end of abortion. Think about the war that is happening in the world. Think about the leaders of nations who do not work for justice and peace. And many more issues, my friends. That's the need that the world has. And we all know it because we have a TV, because we have connection to the internet, because we read the news. We know the need of the world. And if we, if you and I do not turn to the Lord in our need, the world will end up in this tremendous chaos. Even, even more terrible than it is now. The message of hope is that the Lord is right there waiting for us. That's why it is no accident that the Bible is telling us today, turn to the Lord in your need. And you shall. There are many other ways, other options that the world offers. But the best way is Jesus' way, because He is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus will not deceive us, never, ever. The world will, the world does. But Jesus will never deceive us. <coughs> I am happy and I am glad and I thank you for making time to come to Sunday Mass. 
to fulfill our obligation as Christians, as Catholics, to gather together as the Lord wants us to do. That's a way to turn to the Lord after a busy week and before we face the week that is ahead of us, we come to the Lord to give thanks and to ask for help. Because we don't know what is going to happen to us during this week. And so here we are, obeying God's word, turning to Him, coming to Him in our need. I think the families will come with their kids to celebrate the Holy Mass with our elders. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being united in prayer. If we don't do that, my friends, our world, our society, our families, will have no future. But we know that Jesus is our life, and He is the light of the world. He will give us, my friends, He will give us what we need to change the world. Maybe He won't give us everything we want, but for sure He will give us all we need to be always with Him, and to enjoy His presence in our lives. Every time I do Sunday Mass, it is my custom that I, I give a homework to the people. A homework that I myself do as well. Okay? So it's not for you to do, it's for us to do. And the homework for this week, my friends, is to say every day during this week the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi so that we can become channels of peace, instruments of God to help our families, our place of work, and the world to change and to turn to the world. Make me a channel of your peace. Make of all of us the channel of your grace, your joy, your light. You will see, my friends, you will see how our lives will change when we make room for Jesus in our hearts, in our families. Turn to the Lord. He is so willing to listen to us. There is a beautiful song that goes, The Lord hears the cry of the Lord, blessed be the Lord. I will praise the Lord at all times, with praise ever in my mouth. Let my soul So don't think, my friends, that when, when we pray, we are wasting time. That's what people with no faith think. But we are people of faith. And we know that when we pray, God is listening to us. Because the Lord hears the cry of the people. And we want to do this spiritual exercise of turning to the Lord in our need so that we can pray. And I know that the intercession of St. Francis of Assisi, as we do the prayer for this week, which, which is our homework, once again, uh, will help us a lot to remember the message from today's God, from today's readings, and to allow ourselves to be used by God, to be used by Him, to take possession of all of that we are in Him, so that our families be changed and the world as well. Turn to the Lord in your need and you shall. Praise be the name of Jesus, now and forever.
Studio 33 AD Catholic Media